airport at Crowdertown. Doc Miller and I almost had a collision on the ground. Cause Doc was, he, he was a wrong chief. <laughs> we were sitting right in front of the hangar. He got in the airplane, I cranked it. I got in, he opened the throttle to us. And there was an airplane coming up just right in front of us. Doc put the brakes on. He said, you know, that fellow almost ran into us. <laughs> oh, my. That was a close one. I landed at the Clearfield Army, the old airport, one night in the dark. I flew in from Lock Haven with the E-2 Cub and the, I got caught in the dark, and I hesitated till the moon came up so I could partially see the airport. And I went, <laughs> went in and landed. I made a, made a couple trips around over the town of Clearfield, and I knew the two people that run the airport. And I knew that they would get some cars out on the runway. And they got the cars out on the runway, but they pointed them to the cross run runway. Now, I'd never landed in that. And you had to come down over the, the hill. We called it the Coal Hill Airport. You had to come down over the hill if you was going to land west. At night, and those cars were lined up down there pointing on that, on that very seldom used runway. I made it anyway, but when I turn around, I just missed the runway marker by the, maybe a, a foot. And the fellow, about that time, the co-owner of the airport, he was right at the door of the cub, and he says, look, I might have known it, one of the Petersons. <laughs> yep. Yeah.